We can also use reaction stoichiometry when the quantities of reactants or products are expressed in units such as molarity or density. Here we have the reaction of gallium and hydrochloric acid to produce gallium chloride and hydrogen gas. Let's calculate the mass of gallium chloride that can be produced from 2.6 liters of 1.44 molar hydrochloric acid. Notice that we're not given grams, we're not given moles, but instead we're given units of molarity. Remember that molarity is equal to moles over liters. So in this case, moles of hydrochloric acid per liter. We know that our HCl solution is 1.44 molar or moles of HCl per liter. And we can use our mole ratio once we have units of moles. And so here we need to get rid of the liters on the bottom, which we can do because we know that we have 2.6 liters of this 1.44 molar solution. So our liters cancel. And now let's use the mole ratio of HCl to gallium chloride because we're looking for the mass of gallium chloride. So we'll put our moles of HCl on the bottom. According to the balanced equation, 6 moles of HCl produce 2 moles of gallium chloride. So our moles of HCl cancel. And we're left with moles of gallium chloride. And now we can convert those moles into grams to get a mass. We will need to calculate the weight of gallium chloride using the masses from the periodic table. We have one gallium and three chlorine. So adding up the molar masses, we end up with 176.07 grams per mole. And we can plug that into our calculation. So we know that one mole of gallium chloride has a mass of 176.07 grams. And our moles cancel. And we're left with grams, which is what we want. And our answer is 220 grams of gallium chloride. That can be produced from 2.6 liters of 1.44 molar HCl. Let's look at another example. Here we have two moles of sodium azide producing two moles of sodium and three moles of nitrogen gas. Let's calculate the mass of NaN3 that's required to produce 73.6 liters of N2 with a density of 1.25 grams per liter. We're starting with some volume of N2, and we need to end up with a mass of NaN3. So that tells us that we need to figure out the moles of N2, so we can use a mole ratio to get the moles of NaN3. Well, we have 73.6 liters of N2, and we can't convert volume into moles, but we can convert volume into mass using the density. We know, given to us in the problem, that N2 has a density of 1.25 grams per liter. That will allow us to cancel out the liters and leave us with grams of N2. Now we can convert our grams of N2 into moles of N2 using the periodic table. Well, that one mole of N2 has a mass of 28 grams. Our grams of N2 will cancel out, leaving us with moles. And now we can use a mole ratio that comes from the balanced equation. We can see that we have three moles of N2 being produced from two moles of the NaN3. Canceled moles of N2 leaves us with moles of NaN3. And finally, we can get grams 
by using the weight of NaN3 from the periodic table. We have one sodium and three nitrogen, which gives us a mass of 64.99 grams per mole. And we can put that into our calculation. One mole of NaN3 has a mass of 64.99 grams. Our moles cancel, and we are left with grams of NaN3. We do the math, and we end up with 142 grams of sodium azide that's required to produce 73.6 liters of nitrogen gas.